I think it's going to be one of those days again. Wait for it, boom, bang, bada bing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this one's giving me spaghetti. Oh, it's two of them. Look at them. Oh, dinosaurs. Woo hoo. Here we go, here we go. Ho oh, oh. ho. I've got a spaghetti on this one here. Oh my god. That's a lasagna of a whitey. Woo hoo. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another action packed day of Tom's Fishing Adventures. I didn't bring any bait on board. I want to try and get a few squid and then head off and get some big jumbo whiting. So uh, that's the plan. Let's uh, hurry up and get out there and get a couple. Woo! There's not much wind, so I can cast away from the boat. Hallelujah. Oh my god. A... I don't want to get cocky because uh, I, I lost one over there. Yeah, it's definitely a squid. Oh my god. Um, I think he's just on maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mate, this is taking me a damn probably two hours to catch this calamari and I'm happy because I've got one I know the size is pretty small so that's why that jig I had a size for you they uh, getting tapped but not no no strikes but that there is terrific now I've got some bait tentacles for some whiting later on terrific put him out of his mood just straight away well that didn't work yeah it worked <laughs> all righty I'm actually going to try and convert that one calamari into a feather fish. I'm going to go for some whiting. Trying to get to the whiting spots. Bombs away. Oh yeah. A bit of boom boom already. There you go, boom boom. Boom boom. What have we got here? Oh yeah. Huh. These snappers. These snappers. I oh, say so there's more baby snappers out here. Probably two of them, I think. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. Two and a butterfish. Oh. Snapper and a flatty. Still no whiting. Okay, I think it's time to to move to another spot for whiting. It's probably one. Oh yeah, it's a bit of a oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, that's a king whiting. That's a king. Oh no, one is going off. I think I lost this one. <laughs> yeah, I lost him. But that's a fine specimen of a whiting right here. Yeah, beauty. Well, I found him. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Nice size whiting's here. Yeah, beauty. Now, while that one's going on, it does look like as if I'm rushed because the wind's starting to pick up and once that southwest it turns, it'll be game over. So I've got to, got to be efficient, even though I don't like doing this. The whining you really need to strike when they go for it. Yeah, see, bang. <laughs> yeah. But a bing. One or two. I can see him going for the water. Oh my god. Woo! That's a horse. That is a horse. Yeah, beauty. I haven't caught these size whitings for quite some time. So I'm stoked. Got the fresh bait. Struggling to find the whiting. Located them. That's great. Just need to check the camera. 
Woo. Same time, better check my rig. Be line. He's on. He's just one. Yeah, moderate size one. Woohoo! Awesomeness. All the boats gone on that one. So I've got the other rod drilled already ready. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh, this one's got. I keep saying curry, but some people reckon I'm racist, so this one's giving me spaghetti. Oh, I two of them. There's a raw oh, dinosaurs. Woo -hoo. <laughs> this one gave me some spaghetti. <laughs> I think I might just use the one, this one rig. Uh, so the fresh bait works. It took me hours to catch fresh bait. My intention was to clean up from the calamari, that didn't happen. At these points, the best of mine's a whiting. I'm stoked, pardon me. I'm stoked, you hear me? And what I'm doing, I'm just lifting it up and down. Let the sink hit the bottom. That makes it all fluffy. Lighting, see what's going on. And I come into the kill. Also gives me a chance to know well, exactly where I am if I'm actually hitting the bottom or if it's drifting too much. It's good, these little bites. There we go. No. I oh, know it's definitely on. There's could be two on these. Maybe one. Maybe one good size one. Oh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's awesome. I reckon fishing is a lot psychological. I mean, I go fishing for psychological mental health. Also because I love fishing. And it's like anything, you've got a good hobby and it gives you that sense of distraction, releases endorphins when you do something right. It's really good. Come on. Yeah. Oh, this could be a double. Double plate of spaghetti. No, not this time. That's only a one. <laughs> oh. Love it, love it. Beautiful specimens. the hook, just make sure the hook, the plates on the hook, it's exposed like that. They are bigger long shank hooks, they're probably a size twos I think, or fours. Conk it down, give yourself another half metre, just wait for the boat to pick up that weight. Gives it enough time for that bait to sit in the water, move around. Hopefully you hit the, hit the fish. I've probably drifted over a spot now where the whiting aren't here. Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of weed, which the whiting, the sand whiting prefer the sandy bottoms, where the King George prefer the, the weedy bits. So I might just try this another two minutes and then go back over that sandy area. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, gone. What have we got here? It's a whiting. Okay, a whiting. There you go. Yeah. The wind's died down, the sea anchor's dropping out. That drift is actually really good for whiting because I love the moving target. Oh, this is a better size of this one here. Oh, he's got a bit of curry. Oh, he came off. He came off. I felt it just gone. Oh, I hope it wasn't a King George. Oh, that one's going off. It could be a uh, calamari. Whoops. He 
did see that white, didn't you? Here we go, here we go. Give him more pressure. It's giving me spaghetti. <laughs> what do you got here? A butterfish? No! Right, so that means I want to move the boat. And he took both boats. Right, so now I'm going to drift over that exact same spot. That's where the fish were. That's why I'm going to All stay. Right. There's no guarantee. Let's drop this one first. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> a bit of spaghetti on this one here. Oh my God. That's a lasagna of a whitey. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, bada bing. All right, that's a dinosaur. That is a ripper. Whoa. Let's put him in the slurry of ice, keep him nice and fresh. I might drop this one down while I'm getting bait for that one. Get some squid leg. Oh, a bit more spaghetti action here. It's a nice one. Oh yeah. It is a nice one. Yeah. Oh. It is on, eh? What is he? He's a good size one too. Oh, he's a good one. Oh. He's a dinosaur. Oh. Can I get him up? <laughs> it's a dinosaur. Oh, lovely. Oh, come on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All on out. Wait for it. Boom, bang, bada bing. <laughs> Yeah, this is, oh, I heard a, oh, camera's still going. This one's giving me some macaroni, rightfully so. Macaroni size, bloody whiting. <laughs> None of this curry stuff. There you go, recycle the bait. Oh, it's not whiting. Oh my god, it is a whiting. Oh. oh. <laughs> it was actually running. That's a probably fish of the day, that one. Yeah, beauty. Oh, I was going for calamari. It has just been just ruthless with squid. I caught one after two hours. And, um, well, hang on, I've got a fish. And then I, I decided to go for whiting. And, and then I just found a good spot, some really big fat whiting. Yeah, big fat ones. This is a big one too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This one's the best one here. Ooh. Beautiful. That's a big one. Oh. Yeah. Alright. I was about to say the C word. Curry. Give me spaghetti. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's the kind of fishing I like too. It's exciting. You, you know, you, you get multiple fish, multiple hookups, good feed. But when you're not beating any bites, you know, it gets boring. That's why I like going for the bread and butter species. It gets me out there. Oh, not a big one. Oh. 
another one. Oh, they're big dinosaurs. Yeah, that's got to be two. Ooh, that's got to be two. Or oh, could be a one big size one. Oh, I see it going through. Oh, there's two. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that is a dinosaur. That's a medium one, but the bottom, bottom here. Not on to me, oh, that's a good one. Woo! Look at the girth on that. The girth on that. That's worth measuring up. A solid fish. Only 33. Top bigger than that. I think the biggest one I caught was 39. But I mean, you know, sand whiting above the 30s is definitely, definitely know the difference. You know, I love whiting so much. I actually made a shirt, that's a picture there, the camera on the water, whiting right here, the calamari at the front, I actually made this shirt myself, or designed it, plus the lanyard, kill switch to the engine, anyway enough of that, let's get out of here. Okay, fine specimens. All these whiting I've just cleaned up and whatnot. We'll keep this for another day. Cook up, I've got these two nice ones, plus the squid. First of all, I want to salt the fish. But I'm gonna put in the flour because I want to protect it while it's, whilst it's cooking. Oil, oil the grill first. I'm in a rush. Yeah, for some spices, I've got some parsley. I'm just gonna put it in the cavity. More here. Really simple, I mean that's really basically it. The calamari, I'm gonna put that right here. Hopefully that's all gonna stay firm. Basil, for my stalks, they're almost going to die. So I'm gonna put this here. Again, that's mainly for protection. Whether it gives me flavor or not, I'm not too sure. Wash that all the way down. That should move it around at all. And then put oil all over it. This side here. Okay, let's go and put it onto the barbie. Old barbie, so I've got a lighter. Light on. Put that on If there's any barbecue stores that want to sponsor the show, <laughs> I need a new barbie. <laughs> Press the button here to patch your operator the tissue. button and just let it cook away. Yeah, it's looking good. It's been going for a while. I've had to turn down the grills for here. But look at that squid. That's all bubbling up, and that's getting baked nice and soft. And that's what I want to see. So I know it's getting pretty close to it. Oh, that is soft. Oh, first calamari on that, even the body. That looks beautiful. I reckon it's done. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's looking good. It's not that's it. Oh, and it smells good. That basil's really made a difference. Smells sweet. The calamari, I hope it's done. Nice and hot. That's definitely done. Go oh, beautiful. Undo this one. Awesome. So it's not sticking. It's great. Drop into the plate. 
Come on, you can do it. Yes, done it. Okay. <laughs> what a catch. What a lovely catch. How about that? Yeah, it's not my usual dining attire outside here near the herb patch, but uh, who cares? Let's get some lemon. Oh, it smells good. I'm curious about this calamari. So I'm gonna hone into this straight away. Oh yeah, that's definitely, oh, yeah, it smells good. That is just perfect. Look at this cut, it is tender. I thought it was gonna be a bit iffy, but that is just, <laughs> I'm so shocked. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me, that is delicious. Let's get into the whiting. I'm just gonna, with my knife, cut it a little bit around here. Just get a little bit. Do it right, you should be able to get get it uh, a nice piece without any bones. That there is definitely cooked. Oh, it smells like the ocean. Caviar, the ocean. Might be a few bones around here. That's livable. Let's get into it. A few bones, you've got to be careful. Down the hatch. Fantastic. So there you go. I thought it was going to be a tough day again, but it's two squid. Got one for the tentacles. I got myself a really nice feed of uh, my favourite, which is the whiting, plus the squid. Mate, this is deluxe. Don with Petit, like the show, make sure you subscribe Fish. and like it. And leave Tucker. us a comment. Fish. It all helps. Tucker. Thanks, guys. Fish. See you next time. Don with Petit. Fish. It's calamari, sister. Fish. Tucker, the fish, Taco Man. That is just fish, Tucker, fish, Tucker, fish, yeah. fish, Tucker Man. Fish, mm. Tucker, fish, Tucker, the fish, Taco Man.